my fighters so as you can see we are going to get another zinkai yes the third zinkai in a matter of one week actually if we are going to count it from last wednesday to this wednesday it's actually only one week and we got three freaking zinkais after each other or actually two together and then one after them right after them so let's talk about it first of all as you can see the character is going to be actually the yellow android 18 which is really disappointing because a lot of us including me thought that it would be actually the blue one which would have been 10 times better in the current meta but no they decided to add the yellow one which is okay don't misunderstand me they actually did it based on the player base but the timing of adding this character is just the worst timing they could ever do it they saw that a lot of people wants her so they did actually add her in the worst timing they could ever do so that they could make money off her if, although she isn't going to be any useful in pvp unless they make her more broken in defense than uh, what android 13 is and more more broken in at in offense than what gohan is they uh, she isn't going actually to be any useful in the current meta because of the fact that they did add currently two red zinkais right before her <laughs> <laughs> right before her like seriously man they didn't even uh, make a week uh, a week or two free between them so that the two characters have the time to fall a little bit behind so that she she can actually uh, get out and do something no right after them she they did actually zinkai her and this is just insanely useless actually because now she is going to get one shotted by gohan and maybe three shotted by cell <laughs> <laughs> And this is just insane. Anyways, as you can see in her description, her special arts changes uh, her blast arts to strike arts, and she gets a huge boost in damage inflicted, health, and cure recovery with her abilities. So they are going to give her a huge boost. We will see how huge this boost is, but unless it is actually on another level of boost, she isn't going to be useful in the current meta. However, her ultimate increases enemy substitution count and seal strike arts. This is going to be extremely useful against uh, Zing, uh, against uh, Vegito Blue and against the uh, the fusion team as at as all actually because most of them are uh, strike based characters. How However, her biggest problem isn't Vegito Blue and it's not actually the fusion team. Her biggest problem is her friend Gohan. <laughs> <laughs> who is actually a blast oriented character and most of his team as well if it is actually the Son family is a blast oriented character uh, characters so basically the transforming gohan the future one is actually a, bl a bl blast based the ultimate gohan is the same uh, the uh, the transforming G Goku, the angry one, is actually the same. Goten is the same, the legendary finish one. So basically, a lot of the good characters in the team, in the Son family team, are actually uh, blast-based characters. So this this ability is on, isn't going to do anything against them because all they are going to draw, or most of the over the time they are actually going to draw blast uh, blast arts so it's not going to be that useful against them anyways this character is actually the worst decision they have ever taken in the universe not because of the character itself the character itself is okay and since it is actually based on the player base it's actually very very cool that they did it however the timing of adding this character was actually the worst as i said before and she is going to get destroyed very easily by gohan even Demon King Piccolo isn't actually that that useful in the current meta due to the fact that they added the uh, Red Gohan, the Zinkai one, and uh, or they Zinkai'd him. <laughs> <laughs> so due to the fact that they zinkai the Gohan, even Demon King Piccolo has fallen a little bit behind, although his team is just insanely good. 
His team is insanely good and he has fallen a little bit behind. Unless you are a very very skilled player, you ain't gonna be able actually to use him against Gohan and still win the match. However, this character certainly isn't going actually to both androids due to the fact that her Z ability buffs only female warriors, it doesn't buff actually androids, so she is going to be used on female warrior characters, or at least that's what I think due to the fact uh, their, uh, her Z ability, as I said before, buffs actually uh, female warriors, not androids, so... <laughs> <laughs> she isn't going to have actually a broken team like Demon King Piccolo to save her from Gohan. And this is going to be a very, very big disadvantage for her to actually get from the first day she enters the uh, PvP. And this is going to be just incredibly uh, disappointing actually. And it's going to make her very useless in PvP. However, let me know your opinion about her actually. Uh, do you think that she is going to be useful or not uh, and uh, are you actually hyped for her or not? <laughs> I know a lot of people are hyped for her as a character actually uh, getting this Zinkai because I know from my last video that most of the people actually asked for the yellow one not the blue one and uh, it's nice that they are getting her but are you hyped to get her actually in the current meta? Are you going to summon for her or not? Let me know that in the comments section below and with that being said that was everything for today i hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too and if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything you know about uh, dragon ball legends and with that being said see you as always in the next video of dragon ball legends